Trainiac, short little off-season 10 minute run. Off-season means runs aren't as intense. It also means I'm a little hairier and a tad chubbier. Also trying out the new GoPro Hero 7. Short little clip to see how stabilized and good the footage looks right now. Comments below with how that looked. But today isn't going to be about the GoPro. It's not gonna be about running. It's not gonna be about the strength workout that I'm gonna do later today. It's about the 2018 Wahoo Kicker versus the 2018 Cyclops H2. We're also gonna give one of these away. All right, Trainiacs, let's talk about the differences between the new Cyclops H2 and the 2018 Wahoo Kicker. If you're looking at trainer to trainer, I'm gonna give you a spoiler alert. It does not really matter. Just the trainers compared to themselves, they are more similar than they are different. You can choose this or this, you're gonna be happy either way. They're the same $1,199, however, you do have to buy a cassette with the H2. They have the same plus or minus 2% accuracy rating. They both weigh 47 pounds and they have the same simulated 20% maximum grade. If you just look at the trainers and you say which one is better than the other Terran, I don't care. It's not going to make a difference one way or the other what you buy. It comes down to a little bit of the intangibles and some of the small specifics about what you absolutely need and what you might not need. So first, let's talk about some of the small nuances that literally don't matter. When you're on the kicker in your slippers recording a video putting out max power, the kicker has a max power rating of 2200 watts versus the 2000 watts on the Cyclops H2. Why does this not matter? I do not know a single person who can get up to really anything past about 1600 watts. Even pro cyclists max out around 18, 1900. So 2000, it's plenty. The Cyclops hammer has and requires a wedge that is built into the unit for the front of your wheel, whereas the kicker does not. So if you're looking for ultimate cleanliness, just less parts sitting around. If you are constantly breaking down and putting back together your setup, there's just one more thing that you've got to do with the H2. Now, there's a perceived difference that if you've got the Wahoo Element or the Element Bolt, that it'll communicate better with the kicker if you're uploading workouts to this, that you want this to control the kicker. Well, that functionality does exist, but the Wahoo Element or Element Bolt, in this case, the custom limited edition red color, because Triathlon Terran is red, but if that's what you're thinking, it doesn't make a difference because it can control any trainer. The Cyclops H2 has a 20 pound flywheel, whereas the Kicker has a 16 pound flywheel. Typically, heavier is better because it means more inertia and a more road-like riding feel with the new and improved flywheel, which I really don't notice a difference between this and the 2017 model. Feels the same, no difference there. A Cyclops is coming out with a rocker plate that moves your entire bike forward, backward, side to side, but that's just a mechanical device. It doesn't really have to pair to anything and it's going to be compatible with any trainer out there. So that doesn't make a difference. Wahoo makes the Headwind Smart Fan, which blows faster and slower as you change speeds in virtual worlds such as Zwift, but it can pair with any trainer, so that doesn't make a difference. Now, in order to calibrate the kickers, you do have to perform a spin down, bringing it up to, I think it's 23 miles an hour, and then let it spin down to calibrate itself. Cyclops hammer, basically always calibrated on its own. Now let's talk about a couple of the differences that do matter depending on what you're specifically looking for. Good workout carrying these back and forth for you. Noise, the 2017, 2016 Wahoo Kickers had a fairly noticeable high-pitched whine, whereas the Cyclops Hammers did not. The H2 still does not. This is the 2018 Kicker, which has got rid of that whine. 
It's about the same, I would say, decibels as the H2, but because it's not that high-pitched whine, it doesn't hit the ears nearly as strongly. The Cyclops H2 has a built-in cadence sensor, whereas the Kicker needs these little pods strapped onto your bike. So if you already have cadence sensors on your bike and you don't want to be monkeying around with these in addition to that, this is going to be a little bit cleaner. I'm going to throw in a little bit of a wild card here that could make a difference. Wahoo has the new Kicker Core coming in at $899, which has a lot of the same features. You lose a little bit of the top end wattage going from 2200 watts on the Kicker to 1800 watts, which nobody is really going to miss. The maximum grade on this is 20%. The maximum grade on the Kicker Core is 16%. That makes a fair bit of difference. But here's a big difference. Cyclops is not of the same sort of Apple, we never discount mindset that Wahoo is. If they have product that they need to sell, they sell it. And if you look on Cyclops website right now, the old Cyclops hammer, the original that is basically just as good as this is on sale for $200 off. And there are original Cyclops hammers that are scratch and dent models for $300 off. I'm gonna get to why the scratch and dent models don't bother me at all. Cyclops is an American made, owned and run company that is legendary for their warranty honorability. I told the story a few times over the last couple of weeks about how two days before Half Iron Man Worlds, my PowerTap P1 power pedals died and they immediately, without question, shipped out a brand new set to me. Now, Ceres is the company that owns both PowerTap and Cyclops, and that's not just something they do for me. They told me a story about how when they bought a company that was involved with the fluid trainers that they originally came out with, that company hadn't looked into the manufacturing of that fluid, and I think when it was heating up, it leaked. So hundreds of thousands, if not, I think it was millions of dollars they did with a recall with every single model without question. That is a stand-up thing to do, and that is part of the mentality of why they've also partnered with the Trainiacs, and if you are on the Trainiac training platform, you can get a 10% off discount on Cyclops. Fortunately, Wahoo is not into that. What this debate comes down to entirely is this, the Wahoo Kicker Climb. If you know 100% that you want to get the climb at some point, you really have no choice but to get this $600 unit. Pair that with a $1,200 Wahoo Kicker, you're looking at an $1,800 purchase versus about $1,200 for the Cyclops H2. So I think here's the play. Compare that to the 10% discount that you'd get as a Team Trainiac member and having to buy a cassette, you're looking at around $1,125 for a Cyclops H2. I think that the play is to get a Wahoo Kicker Core. You have to buy a cassette for that, but that brings the price down to $1,550 fair bit more comparable to the Cyclops H2 at that point. If you don't want the climb, save yourself some cheddar and get the Cyclops H2. If you do want the climb, go with the core. And if money is no object, just start buying all the trainers you can. So that's what it comes down to. Now, here's the fun part about our partnership with Cyclops. We're running a giveaway right now. If you want to win a new Cyclops H2, we are going to be giving one away and we will be giving it away when we are in Kona. So there is a link in the description below to how you enter that. All you gotta do is put in your email, you get bonus entries. If you like, I think if you share this video and if you follow Cyclops and all kinds of good stuff. When it comes right down to the trainer, they're both good trainers. And big caveat here, I don't know why, but what the best cycling trainer is, is a very contentious topic. Every time I talk about it, everyone starts giving me their opinions about why this is crap and the Elite Diretto. I don't know what the Elite Diretto does, but people love it. And you all wanna let me know that, and you all wanna let me know that that's the one you should buy. But you know what? 
These are good trainers. You're not gonna be upset with either one of them. The Elite Duretto is missing quite a few features that this has, just so you know. So you kinda get what you pay for. It's a good value trainer. I don't disagree with that. But don't feel getting all snarky with me in the comments about this. It's just bicycle riding. All right, Trainiacs, more content as I do more training on the Cyclops Kicker, the Climb, the Headwind, and a little bit more on the H2. Make sure you're subscribed, and if you are subscribed, you are like a warm headwind breeze on a summer day.